Assalamu alaikum. Today we will start our new lesson equations and inequations. Objectives at the end of this video, students will be able to identify a solution of an equation, solve equations of the form ax plus b equals zero, where a and b are two decimals. Materials before we start, please prepare your math book, draft papers pen and calculator. Prerequisites. Before we start with this session, we are able to define an equation that it is a mathematical sentence having the equal sign or it is an equality between two mathematical expressions which are called members of the equation. For example, 3x minus 5 equal 2 times x plus 7 is an equation it is an algebraic expression having an equal sign. It has a left side which is 3x minus 5 and a right side which is 2 times x plus 7. These two sides are called the members of the equation. While 9x squared minus 3 is not an equation, it is an algebraic expression since it has no equal sign. Also, we already know that if a equal b, then a plus c equal b plus c and a minus c equal b minus c. This means that if we have an equality between two numbers, we can add the same number or subtract the same number from both sides of this equality. Examples, if 2x equal negative 5, then 2x plus 5 equal minus 5 plus 5. Here we added a plus 5 to both sides of this equality, so we get 2x plus 5 equals 0. Also we have 3x minus 7 equal 4, then 3x minus 7 plus 7 equals 4 plus 7. Here we added 7 to both sides, so we get 3x equals 11. If 7x plus 6 equal negative 2, then 7x plus 6 minus 6 equals minus 2 minus 6. Here we subtracted minus 6 from both sides of the equality, so we get 7x equal minus 8. If a equal b, then a times c equal b times c. If we have an equality between two numbers, then we can multiply both sides of this equality by the same number. Also, if we have an equality between two numbers, we can divide both sides by the same number. Of course, this number must be different from zero. Examples, if x over 5 equals 7, then 5 times x over 5 equals 5 times 7. Here we multiplied both sides by 5. The left side becomes x since we cancelled 5 by 5 and the right side becomes 35. If 7x equals 6, then 7x over 7 equals 6 over 7. Here we divided both sides by 7, so we get x on the left side and 6 over 7 on the right side, so x equals 6 over 7. Equations Identifying a solution of an equation the solution of an equation is all the numbers that make the equation true. The solution of an equation is called the root of an equation. For example, please check if the following numbers negative 1 and 1 over 2 are solutions of the equation x times 2x minus 3 equals negative 1. Solution. Let us start by negative 1. We substitute negative 1 in the equation, so we replace x by negative 1. We get negative 1 times 2 times negative 1 minus 3 equals minus 1. We will reduce the left side to get minus 1 times minus 5 equal minus 1. Then we get 5 equal minus 1. Here, if you see that the left side of this equality is not equal the right side. On the left we have 5, on the right we have minus 1. So 
this statement is false. When the statement is false, this means that minus 1 is not a solution of this equation. What about 1 over 2? Please let us substitute 1 over 2 in the equation. We replace x by 1 over 2 to get 1 over 2 times 2 times 1 over 2 minus 3. We reduce the left side to get minus 1 equals minus 1. The answer of the left side is equal to the answer of the right side. So we have a true statement. This means that 1 over 2 is a solution of the equation. Application. Hassan claims that negative 1 over 3 is a root of the equation 3x squared minus 2x equal 1. Zahra claims that negative 5 is a root of the equation x squared equal negative 25. Are Hassan's and Zahra's claims true? Please pause this video and try to do it by yourself. Solution Let us substitute minus 1 over 3 in the equation 3x squared minus 2x equal 1. Here we will replace x by minus 1 over 3 to get 3 times minus 1 over 3 squared minus 2 times minus 1 over 3 equal 1. After we reduce, we get 3 times 1 over 9 plus 2 over 3 equal 1. Then 1 over 3 plus 2 over 3 equal 1. The final answer is 1 equal 1, which is true. This means that negative 1 over 3 is a root of the equation. So what Hassan claims is true. On the other side, we will substitute negative 5 in the equation x squared equal negative 25. So we will get negative 5 squared equal negative 25. Since negative 5 squared is a perfect square, the answer is positive 25, which is not equal to negative 25. Here the statement is false. So minus 5 is not a root of the equation. This means that what Zahra claims is not true. Equations of the form ax equal b that are also called linear equations where a and b are decimal numbers. Let a and b be two decimal numbers. If a different from 0, the equation ax equal b admits one solution which is x equal b over a, where a is the coefficient of x. So when we have an equation of the form ax equal b, we get x equal b over a. We divide b by the coefficient of x. For example, the solution of the equation negative 2x equal 5 is x equal 5 over negative 2, which is equal to minus 5 over 2. In the equation 0 times x equal 3, there is no value of x that satisfies this equation. Thus, we say that the equation has no solution. So when we have the coefficient of x, which is a equals 0, while the other side b is different from 0, we say that the equation has no solution. In the equation 0x equals 0, here we have a, which is the coefficient of x, 0, and b, which is the number on the right side, is also equal to 0. We say that any value of x satisfies this equation. Thus, we say that the equation has any number as a solution, or it has infinite number of solutions. So, as a conclusion, the equation 0x equal b has no solution where b is a non-zero decimal number. When we have 0x equal 0, this equation admits all the numbers as solutions. Equations that can be reduced to the form ax equal b. For example, to solve the equation 2 times x minus 3 equal 5x plus 7, first step, we expand both sides of this equality. The right side is already expanded, so we expand the left side to get 
2x minus 6 equal 5x plus 7. Step 2, we isolate the unknown and group it into one side of the equation. We move the variable or the unknown to one side and we move the numbers to the other side. So we get 2x minus 5x equal 7 plus 6. We moved 5x to the left side to become negative 5x. We also moved negative 6 to the right side to get plus 6. After doing this, we reduce the left side and we reduce the right side. So we get an equation of the form ax equal b in step 3, which is negative 3x equal 13. Now we get an equation ax equal b. The solution of this equation is x equal b over a. So in step 4, we say that x equal 13 over negative 3, which is equal to negative 3 over 13. Application. Solve the following equations. Please pause this video and try to do it by yourself on a draft paper. Solution. We will start with part 1. As we mentioned before, step 1, we will expand both sides. We get 10x minus 15 plus 2x minus 14 equal 4x. Step 2, we will move the numbers to one side and the variables to the other side to get 10x plus 2x minus 4x equal 15 plus 14. Please remember that when you move a term from one side to another, we change its sign. As you see, when you move 4x from the right side to the left side, it becomes negative 4x. And when we move negative 15 from the left side to the right side, it becomes positive 14. Now, we reduce both sides to get 8x equal 29 which is in the form ax equal b, so the answer is x equal 29 over 8. Part 2, we will do it in the same way. We expand in the first step to get 7x minus 4 equal 5x minus 15 plus 2x. We will move the numbers to one side and the variables to the other side. Then we reduce to get 0x equal minus 11. Here, the coefficient of x, which is a, is equal to 0, while b is different from 0, then we say that the equation has no solution. Example 3, we do the same process as we did in example 1 and 2. We expand both sides, then we reduce both sides. We get the form 0x equals 0. Here we have the coefficient of x, which is a, is equal to 0 and the right side b is equal to 0. So we say that the equation admits all numbers as solutions. Equation that can be reduced to the form ax equal b. Example, to solve equations of the form 2x minus 3 over 5 minus x plus 2 over 10 equal 3x over 2. Step 1, we transform to the same denominator. We take a common denominator here we have 5, 10, and 2, so the common denominator is 10. We multiply 5 by 2, and we multiply 2 by 5. We get the following fractions. Now we eliminate 10 from the denominator to get the following equation. Step 2, we expand and reduce both sides to get the following equation. Step 3, we transform to the form ax equal b, so we have minus 12x equal 8, x equal 8 over negative 12, which is equal to minus 2 over 3. Solve the following equation. Please pause the video and try to do it by yourself. Solution. First of all, we take a common denominator, which is 6. We multiply 2 by 3 and we multiply 3 by 2 to get the following fractions. We eliminate 6 from the denominator to get the following expression. Now we expand and reduce both sides. So we get 5x equal 15. Now x equal 15 over 5 equals 3. 
assignment, please review from your textbook the following page and do the following homework. Summary, please read the summary carefully and take notes on your copybook. Thank you very much. Thank you.